They are the most decorated figure skaters in Olympic history. Tessa Virtue and Scott Moyer have captivated the world with their skating prowess. And now the champions are showcasing their talent to fans across the country. This is part of their Thank You Canada Tour. And they are joined by another great Canadian skating legend, uh, Olympic silver medalist, Elvis Stoichel. Good to have all three of you here together. Uh, welcome. Thank you for yeah, having thank you. us. This is thank so you. much fun. It feels so such a waste to just be sitting down with the three. <laughs> All right. It's a nice treat for us. <laughs> yeah. You know, I tell us the vision behind this show. Well, we really wanted to go coast to coast and thank the fans who have supported us for so many years and, and go into venues that we've never skated in before. Uh, it's been really thrilling. I think it's an entertaining show with music from all generations and different kinds of genres and fun costumes, and, and we're enjoying uh, celebrating our success together on the ice. It is so much fun to watch our skating favorites, people that we are so proud of. Watch you guys all out on the ice together. You kind of feel like you're in on this little club. What's it like skating with everybody, Elvis? Oh, I, I mean, these are the young guys. I'm the veteran. I've been doing this since like 1993. To be on this tour with the Olympic champions is 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 phenomenal. And they, a lot of people ask, you know, how do you how do you get up for this? I said, I'm, every <laughs> night I'm skating with the young guys, and it's it's fantastic. What he's is not it? allowed to say that when he's in better shape than us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what is it like uh, to to skate without the judges watching? I mean, all of you are top of the world at Olympic champions, but what's it like to just skate? for fun well it's it is like just what you said it's fun and it, it's such a different feeling to skate for for six thousand people instead of, of just nine judges and it's all about just bringing the crowd to their feet which is something that we always focused on in our career uh but we get to just go out there and, and kind of interact with each other have a blast and hopefully the crowd does as well we've had some pretty amazing crowds across the country so far yeah tell me about some of the feedback from the crowds is there anything that has surprised you about what they've enjoyed about this show well, these intimate venues have been such a treat because there's a more personal connection with the audience, and I feel that engagement is, um, I don't know, it's a, it brings out a different energy in the cast. You, you get a better show when there's that reciprocity, uh, mm -hmm. the give and take, and uh, people seem to be into it and dancing with us. And... I think our crowd dances a lot more yeah. than they do the usual <laughs> skating show. Like, we, we have some moments where we actually get to go out in the crowd and do some dance moves, and it's fun. Yeah, I know. The music is fantastic. Listen, your fans are very interactive. Uh, I understand that somebody even gave you guys a Monopoly game oh, to yes. play on the bus. Yeah. What do you guys do on the bus? What do we do on the bus? <laughs> oh, we just sort of check. Well, we're, we have two different buses because there's a big group of us, and we hang. I hang with these guys. Which and is much, we're like the calmer, it's, it's, it's the we calmer take, older bus. We drink tea and we are. So there's, we there's the party we bus. We are yeah. recovering <laughs> between shows, and it's we the, don't know what the other bus does, but we don't want to know. It's the recovery bus, I, I guess. guess so, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, I kind of need my own space to kind of just chill. <laughs> yeah, 46 years old, like a little more time to recoup. Uh, 46 years old, you mentioned, but listen, you don't I show pray. it on the ice. It is incredible. The athleticism is still there. Uh, and I, what you mentioned about the smaller venues, I noticed when watching one of these shows, you guys respond to the crowd when they hear an I love you, Elvis, or I love you, Tess and Scott. You guys play back with that. Yeah, we really try to. Yeah, we definitely like. There's moments where, like Tessa was saying, we're you know we're talking with the audience. We have a mic. We're connecting, and and that's what we want is that intimate relationship and that connection to the audience. And there's there's some great moments throughout the show that we're able to do that and connect and and <laughs> shake hands and have some fun. I love the dance off because through that, while these guys are competing, I'm actually talking to the audience and being out there, maybe sit beside them and, and converse and get they can get really close to us and we really enjoy that. Makes every that. show so, unique too. Yeah. Each show is different. Uh, you know, and what also makes it unique is the musical choices and the choreography. How much input do the three of you have? Well, that was fun about this project. Uh, we worked with, with our team, uh, Mary Frost Bray and Sam Schoenard, to, to bring together um, the show. But at the same time, the nine of us have, have kind of grown up skating together. Uh, obviously, we grew up watching Elvis, but he's always inspired us. So we were able to come together and kind of create together uh, with our own personalities and, and kind of featuring our own strengths. So while we do have a chore choreographic team that's amazing, uh, it does feel like we've had a lot of input, which is refreshing as well. Do you have influence in the musical choices, Elvis? Absolutely. Because yours are very different than theirs sometimes, I notice, in some of your numbers. Yeah, well, well, they wanted to, to bring back, we were talking about what should I bring, and I said, let's, you know, the dragon number, that, of course, for the, for the first half, and then, you know, putting together, you know, the hip was sort of my style, so I said, that's perfect, Canadian band, and everything that's gone along with it, and then we just, you know, from there, it's, it's been phenomenal. I, they, they came together with the package, but, 
it's so great to be a part of that, to add more. When they were saying, Elvis, this is your number, do what you want, I'm like, uh, okay, let's put together <laughs> some stuff and have a great time, and that's what it's like. I remember talking to Kurt Browning about this once, that the sport of figure skating was losing a lot of athletes, females in particular, to sports like hockey and to soccer. What message do the three of you have for anybody who's considering figure skating? Well, our message is uh, to always get young people to do any sport. So we are figure skaters, and we do love figure skating. But uh, first, if, if hockey's their passion or soccer's their passion, then that's fantastic, too. There are a lot of pressures on young people. I think sport is such a great influence. Uh, but to young skaters, uh, obviously, we've, we're kind of a success story. But you have to make sure that you love it. Um, figure skating, uh, you know, it's, it can be a little bit of a lonely sport. You have to have that passion. And that's still what drives us every day. The three of us, we love taking the ice and we still love skating together. And that's why I think this show is so much fun because there is that joy and, and every cast member feels that. And you have to feel it as a six-year-old, seven-year-old, 12-year-old, anytime. Mm -hmm. It really does feel like a Canada tour. You're saying thank you on the ice, but you have an opportunity now. What would you like to say to Canadians who are watching this morning? Oh, thank you so much for the steadfast support. I mean, it's been two decades for us that uh, we've competed and, and every time we take the ice, wherever we are in the world, we feel um, that boost and, and it means the world to us. We're just incredibly grateful. Elvis, how about you? Thank you for remembering. Thank you for YouTube so the young kids know who I am. <laughs> but it, no, but it, it's, it's been fantastic. Uh, everyone around Canada has been so supportive. And, and like I say during the show, it, um, it, whether it's a high point or a low point, they've always been supported. And they made me feel like family. And I think mm -hmm. that's the part on this tour. We, we have that connection uh, you know, with the Canadian fans and, and fans all around the world that have come seen the show, which is, which is phenomenal. Yeah. Yeah, there's about nine shows left. I would encourage you to get out there and, and watch it because it is a ton of fun. Thank you all for being here this morning. Thanks Thank for you. having Thank us. You. All right, if you'd like information on the Thank You Canada tour, you can head to yourmorning.ca. And here's a surprise. You can catch the Thank You Canada special on Sunday, December 2nd at 8 o'clock Eastern. And that's right here on CTV.